Good morning. For those that don't know who I am, I am Sandy Musino, and I am running for District 1 Director, which represents Walnut Creek and Rossmore. But before I do that, I want to thank all of those that supported me last year and voted for me as president-elect. We did pretty good. We came in second. Uh, all kidding aside, Marilyn is being a great president-elect, and now she's going to be an awesome president next year. What makes me qualified? Well, first of all, I've been a fellow realtor since 1984. It's amazing how fast 29 years can go by. I've served on many committees. I've got lots of designations. I think the biggest reason that I qualify is because I care. I care enough that I have served on so many committees during those 29 years. I care enough because I am a golden R, a major contributor to our Realtor Action Fund. I care enough that I contribute to the Housing Affordability Fund. I care enough that I attend lots of those events. As a matter of fact, I've often offered to sell some of them to those that haven't been able to attend at least three. I care enough that I'm currently serving on the budget and finance my fourth year. Along with the other committee members, I've worked really hard. We all have to keep a balanced budget and to keep our dues down. I care enough that this is my fourth year on the board of directors and I care enough that I want to continue serving. I care enough that I'm a CAR director, and I will tell you I'm very humbled that I've just recently been elected to serve again next year. I care enough that I'm here asking for your vote, asking for your support, so I can continue being your voice. I'm not afraid to speak up in those board meetings, sometimes maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> so, I care enough that I am asking you to vote. Like Barbara says, it is so important. It's your right, it's your privilege. So please vote. And hopefully you vote for me, Sandy Musino, for District 1 Director, and because I care and because you care. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vito LaGrosso. You may have recognized me from a while ago. I used to be up here. Gosh, I was the treasurer. Years ago, and maybe you don't recognize me because I was in disguise back then. I had hair and uh, 20 to 30 pounds lighter. Probably one of the toughest things I had to do was be the first male officer of Women's Council of Realtors around here. <laughs> it wasn't afraid to speak up. I've contributed. You probably don't know, but I was part of the grievance committee, and that's a great thing because you would have been in trouble if you'd have known I was on the grievance committee. <laughs> So anyway, the best thing I want to do is continue to uh, show up, to contribute, to be a voice, and get the job done. If you want somebody who will show up, contribute, get the job done, please vote for me, Vita LaGrossa. Thank you very much. Well, it's wonderful to see so many friendly faces, a lot of people I've known for a long time. I'm Lisa Crosby Torres. I'm a managing broker with Alon Pinnell Realtors in Danville, and I'm currently seated as a director at large. A uh, position I filled via a vacancy, an unfortunate vacancy in 2012 when Bill passed away. When you come up for a position that's uncontested, it's sort of like, what do you say, right? I don't have to beg for a vote. But we do have to beg for a vote. So what I wanted to spend a few moments of your time with this morning is to remind you that it's very little things by everybody that makes a huge difference in our profession. So I didn't go out seeking this position. It came to me, and I'm so grateful that I was offered it. Um, I went through the entire chair system down in the South Bay before I moved to the East Bay in 1998. So I went through uh, you know, the vice president, president, treasurer, board of directors, and region chair for region uh, nine down in the South Bay. And I thought I would kind of evaded ever doing this again until I got a call from Barbara. And I'm so grateful because it reminds me is there's little differences each one of you can make. It starts with voting. Second thing it starts with instead of grumbling when something isn't working the way you want it, give one of us a call because what Sandy said is we do really care. We spend a lot of time doing this and just like you, we're very busy people. Um, but we really care and I care when I get an email or a phone call. Uh, where I deliver my service is mostly through technology, mostly through MLS and business services. I currently chair the MLS and Business Technology Committee for CCAR. I chair the M3, which used to be called the Paragon Oversight Group. Other used to be known as the Get Nothing Done in Three Years Committee. 
Um, and the reason I want to tell you this is because I got so frustrated sitting on that group. And I talk about the little things you can do. Finally, I sat in that room one day and I just got mad. And I said, you know what? There's like something nobody wants to talk about, but we're spending a lot of man hours here not getting things done. And we need to change the structure. And from what that one frustrated comment took place is everybody went, you know, I've been feeling the same way and didn't want to say anything. And I started getting calls on weekends from people from other organizations. And we made a dramatic change. And now we have a group that can make changes for you to our MLS decision making on the fly with a group of empowered leaders. So I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Is Instead of those frustrated moments keeping quiet, speak up. Call somebody on the board of directors. If it's MLS technology, call me, email me. Um, and just little, little words of wisdom, little words of frustration will get things done. And so I'm your voice there to get things done, and I'm really grateful to be able to continue to serve uh, in this position. So thank you. Please vote today and get it done. Have a great day. Well, good morning. My name is Patty Gage, and I'm a realtor with Coldwell Banker in Walnut Creek. It's an honor for me to be considered to be a member of the Board of Directors. I've been uh, selling and or managing in real estate for the last 34 years, and I may be a new face to a lot of you, but that's because I've only been in this area for three years. I come from Portland, Oregon, um, been up there serving in, in many capacities in the real estate industry. I was on the board of directors a couple different times for two different boards up in Oregon. I'm president-elect for the Portland Metropolitan Association of Realtors. I firmly believe in serving and giving back. I enjoy being involved in leadership. Now that I feel acclimated here in Northern California, I would like to continue to serve and represent and look out for the interests of you, our realtors, and the community and clients protecting their private property rights. I've been serving on the legislative committee as a co-chair and then this year chair for the last couple of years. And I enjoy meeting with current as well as prospective elected officials. I like to see what their interests are and how they affect our business. So I hope that you will get out there and vote. Tell other people in your offices and, and people that you know uh, to get out there and vote. Thank you very much. Good morning, I'm Mike Handlin. I've been your uh, director from District 1 for the last four years. And as I've said over the last four years, the reason I'm involved is that I like to be part of the decision-making process of any anything that I'm involved in. And uh, I, I serve as vice chair of the uh, Budget and Finance Committee, and I serve on the Ledge Committee. And you're going to continue to hear this same refrain, the most important thing for you guys to do is to vote. Because we've got to have a quorum. If we don't have a quorum, then we get to do this thing all over again. So I encourage everybody to vote. I would really appreciate your support. But the most important thing is get out and vote. And get everybody in your office to vote. Thank you very much. My name is Ellen Osmondson, and I'm with Michael James Real Estate International. It is truly an honor to be speaking to you today about this opportunity to possibly represent you at CCAR. CCAR, of course, is an organization that we all pay dues to so that we can get our business done. However, CCAR is also an organization that will pull all the resources together so that we can do our business better. The reason why I want to run is there is a very important mission to me. That is that I would like to bring people together regardless of their racial background, cultural background. If we are realtors, we just need to be able to speak freely and truthfully to our leaders and see what can be done. I started the diversity committee about four years ago and brought many of delicious dishes to you, as you may know. <laughs> In my new position, I would like to bring all of our members together and also because of that, I want to bring out a message to all of you, all of us, that diversity in real estate is a reality. The global market in real estate is also a reality and we cannot afford to miss that or ignore that. So that is my biggest vision that I want to accomplish. Ask all of you to do something for CCAR, even before you cast your vote, is to bring a member to help them understand what CCAR is all about. We know that CCAR has a lot of committees, and each committee has its own specific function. But if our members don't know about it, 
They won't know what's the importance of being a member. They think that CCR is just a money maker. But we all know better. And also, how do we do that? We do that by bringing them to CCR events, just like how do we increase our members here at CCRIM. Okay? I remember the first time I came to CCRIM, very clearly, Phyllis Miller brought me here. Okay, so it's one person making a difference, one person bringing another person. So that's how we increase our membership and that's how we increase our solidarity. So I hope I will get your vote when time comes. When is the deadline? But don't wait until the deadline. Vote now. Good morning, everybody. Um, first, I want to give you a little background of, of where I came from. I spent 15 years in Silicon Valley, construction, project management, commercial buildings. Got into this business about 10 years ago. I remember this old wicked church back there. And I want to thank the folks who supported me when I first started. Uh, it was tough. But anyways, when moving forward in, in this marketplace, I really want to thank everybody. There's a lot of service providers out there that are not affiliate members. I'd like that to change. It's tough, but I'd like to go and see how we can get those service providers as members or get the office and say, we use affiliate members. I came across several boards, like two boards, say, I cannot go to meetings because I'm not a member. I've been shut up. Well, that's okay. So I learned that process. But we don't want to shut them out. We want to invite them. I'll probably come to offices, say hello. What list do you have? Maybe we send them letters and say, come join. But what I'd really like to see is CCAR members support their affiliate service providers. Thank you very much. Please vote. I don't know. There could be a lot of people who don't know me. Sandy and I grew up in real estate together. We were just saying that the other day. We both started in 1984 and we're coming to these meetings and it was kind of fun. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, as you know, almost 30 years in real estate. Uh, my dad was a realtor. Many of you knew him, Bob Baldwin. He passed away some 10, 12 years ago. And his dad was a realtor before him. So I'm third generation. Uh, it's kind of in the blood makes it kind of fun. I'm telling my kids, no, don't get into real estate. No fourth generation. No, it's too difficult. Uh, in 1988, I started with the Ethics Committee, uh, was on the, which is now Grievance Committee, did that for three years, was uh, chairman a couple of years after that, and in 1993, uh, Sharon, uh, got me to uh, start on the professional standards panel and I did that for 15 years. So that's kind of my love. Did that until 2007 and then Fred Weston recruited me to uh, be on the board of directors and uh, been doing that for the last six, seven years. I'm currently your treasurer for the last year and a half. We have a balanced budget uh, and so that's uh, fantastic. <laughs> Some of you know we didn't have a balanced budget a few years ago, and, and it is. We take care of your money very, very carefully, let me tell you. Um, I just have uh, four goals as your president-elect. One of them is to make sure that our state and our association is highly respected and valued, uh, our association, at the state association. And uh, that's very, very important. We have a fantastic CEO who's very highly respected in Sharon. And so I hope all of you realize that uh, over the years, we've had a very powerful uh, association and highly regarded at the state. We want to make sure it stays there. Second goal is we want to make sure that uh, Lisa Crosby Torres keeps bringing technology and MLS uh, new technology to us. And I know she works on that all the time. And uh, that's very important to us. Uh, I know in a few months we're going to be rolling out some things that are going to be very exciting. And I hope all of you pay attention to what's coming out on the technology side. Third, I want to make sure 
that we are very transparent. Any of you who are in good standing, if you want to come into the association and you want to view our budget, if you want to see what we do, we'll be glad to show it to you. There are no secrets at our association. So if you are interested in finding out what we do and where we stand and what's going on, please come in and we'll be glad to share with you. And the fourth, which I'm going to make kind of a high priority, is we're going to really focus on ethics and professional standards. We've got a lot of bad apples in the field. We've got people who are not uh, playing by the rules. We've got private MLSs out there. Uh, Sharon told me, uh, I think it was a couple of months ago, that in Contra Costa County, between 20 and 30% of the closed sales were not even on MLS. So how do we do our business? You know, when almost a third of our inventory isn't even being put on for us to see. And they're doing, there's a way to do that legally if you want to have a pocket listing. But you've got to make sure that you tell your client the ramifications of what's going on and not just hand pick five or 10 other realtors that you're going to put your listing out to. That's not doing your client a very good service. So anyway, we're going to put teeth into that um, over the next year or two. I know Marilyn, that's a big priority for her also. Anyway, please vote. Uh, make sure that you tell your friends and uh, who are in real estate and, and those around you to vote because we do need a quorum. Thank you very much. You know, you guys have heard from me for the last couple of years, and I am really excited to be um, looking forward to next year and the great things that are going to happen. You know, it's an interesting thing because, you know what, this is really all about you. It's, it's all about you guys. Uh, when Barbara talks about and Rob talked about coming down to the board, um, you know, if you're not spending any time down there, you're missing a fabulous resource. We all put a lot of time in just trying to make things good for you so that your business is good and that you have a lot of resources that are there and available. And there's always new things that are coming up. Um, that's what's really kind of fun working with Lisa because she's always got something else that seems to be dripping out of her mouth about, wow, we got this thing coming. And, you know, so believe me, we have great resources that are available for you. Let's face it, we have had a difficult last five to six years. You know what? I'm done with that. I don't know about you guys. I'm no different than you are. I'm out there slugging it out just like you are, trying to get my offers accepted and everything else. But we need to work together as a group, as a group of working realtors where we share information, we're good for each other. You know, if we're all making money, we're all a lot happier. And one way to be able to do that is to just be able to have a collaborative thought together. So looking forward to it. We are gonna have a fabulous inaugural. I know it's kind of early to talk about it, but I wanna place the date in your mind because there are only so many seats available. It will be January 11th. There's also going to be a theme. You get to get dressed up if you want to. So mark your calendar. Uh, we're gonna start selling tickets by the end of the year. So I want you to really start thinking about this. And we're going to go back to something that we did in the past, which was, this is a gala event for you. I want you guys to come and party with me. And let's celebrate being realtors and affiliates and the real estate industry. Thank you, Barbara. This is one of my last official duties, so uh, I, I, don't have, I won't be kicking anybody around anymore. So <laughs> I do want to thank all of you for supporting CCAR. We have done some incredible things over the last few years, and it isn't one president or one person on the board that does it. It is a team. It is a, a combined effort. It is something that we as members as active realtors and affiliates care about, as has been said before today. We have really created a wonderful toolkit that goes out to the offices. If you haven't had a presentation yet by Jason and uh, whoever goes with him to your office, make sure you get one. We also now have Linda Anderson and Phil Deutscher going out and doing professional standard 
meetings and, and talking about procuring cause and ethics. And we've got, as a matter of fact, we're going to have a video library on ethics. We're, we've really done some excellent things, and we will continue to do that. I know the boards will, will continue to do that. It is your association. It is all of our associations, and we need to make sure we take care of it. So thank you very, very much, and thank you for, Joe, for letting us have this time. You're welcome.